Yeah, for this third session, I would like to welcome uh, Laura Paglioni, who will discuss how better metadata makes a difference. So thank you, Laura, for joining us. Thank you. Um, and uh, it's morning for me, uh, and I'm hoping that at least some of you got some sleep at some, at some point during your uh, sleeping hours of this festival. Um, today, I'm going to be talking to you about an exciting new phase that the, that the Metadata 2020 project is uh, about to embark on. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more about Metadata 2020 in case you haven't heard of the effort before. Um, but in this new phase, the community, it's really geared toward the community taking over the effort and um, and in, for the Metadata 2020 project to be providing an action plan and that the community then can evolve and, and uh, can evolve and, and, uh, and enhance. So um, today, the the key thing that I'd like to do today is share with you this new action plan and, and the new changes, um, but also more importantly is to look for your insight and help. Uh, there's no better community that um, can provide this insight of you know, the effectiveness of this action plan and what might be missing from it. So um, I will be looking for your participation toward the end of this presentation so that um, so that we can, can we can actually start the conversation of this new phase. So, but first, let's uh, let me just tell you a little bit about Metadata 2020. Um, Metadata 2020 was founded because there we were thinking about big issues, um, and uh, the people who are in the room at that moment were were talking about metadata at, at its broadest sense. What kinds of change can um, good, reusable, rich open metadata uh, contribute to the broader broader community and what what impact can that have and uh, what we are doing with this new phase is that we're very deliberately tying that linkage between uh, reusable rich open metadata and the and addressing these big world challenges so uh, it uh, by doing that, we we decided the best way to do that is to look at the UN Sustainable Development Goals, of which there are 17, and to make the argument that uh, having richer open metadata uh, are key to increasing the effectiveness or the or the speed or the um, ability to uh, address some of these challenges. Um, so our You'll see it when um, when you look at our site, the relaunch site, which we'll be launching this afternoon, um, that we're really focusing on these key messages that um, without this open metadata, that these huge tasks will take longer or cost more. Um, and the, the key thing about the metadata is that the richer metadata fuels that discovery and innovation. That's, absolutely necessary in order to solve these big challenges. Um, and with that, the PIDs are a key piece, of course, um, because uh, metadata and PIDs are just hand in hand. Uh, PIDs are really important for follow finding information and PID, metadata, the associated metadata is key to uh, enhancing what information you can find at that PID. So, um, Connected metadata really bridges that gap between systems and communities. It uh, eliminates that du duplication of effort. And um, really, if we don't, if we settle for inadequate metadata, you can't really do any of these. Uh, we can't make it as effective as we want it to be, and then everybody suffers as a consequence. So in 2017, metadata 2020 um, was developed pretty much just with this mission to advocate for richer, connected, and reusable uh, open metadata for all outputs. Um, and that mission continues as we move into this next phase. And let me talk a little bit about those phases. Um, there are really five phases of Metadata 2020. Uh, the first phase was really that foundational phase where uh, a core group of individuals uh, got together to figure out you know, what impact, there's lots of work being done in metadata and PIDs, and what impact could this new effort have on that conversation and 
um, and what is there even a role for it? And I apologize if you're hearing sound. It's very early in the morning here, and my heater is blowing right on my face. So um, occasionally, so I'm on my mic. Um, so so after that foundation phase, where the the group kind of set that this idea of having an advocacy campaign was really the key, the thing that um, the gap that it, this effort might fill, um, we moved on to the uh, first phase of the project, which was talking with the various communities that interact most often with metadata, and uh, looking at these stakeholders. Um, this is the views of the publishers and the aggregators, the researchers, the service providers, the funders, and I, I'm not being, I'm not gonna say, there are, there are groups that absolutely contribute to this that I'm not gonna, that I haven't mentioned yet, um, but really effort specifically in those communities and to understand, um, to better understand and more deeply understand where some of the challenge points are in those communities. And in those discussions, we really understood that uh, many of the, challenge, the challenges are so interconnected. It's a systemic um, a piece of work to have open, rich, uh, rich open metadata. So um, the groups developed six projects that, um, that cut across those stakeholder groups and then um, and then developed specific missions that each one of those projects would set out to better understand and to see where uh, Metadata 2020 might uh, be able to make an impact. And, I, and one thing I want to really point out and really emphasize is that despite I, I'm you know talking about where Metadata 2020 could make an impact, um, this was not by necessarily by creating new items and very actually very few new items were created by this group. Instead, it was more about collecting all of the information from the various groups that are doing these fantastic work and then bringing them together in one place um, and then making that argument that action should be taken. Uh, in the uh, in phase three, which was the fourth phase, counting in computer science terms, starting with zero, um, in phase three, we, uh, we were developing some of these outcomes. I mean, we were doing research, we we're talking with people, and from that, we learned a lot of information. And so we tried to codify and um, and write about the information that we have, and that's in the form of outcomes. Um, so there were papers, there were um, tools that were created, uh, uh, messaging information created, and it was the perfect backdrop for this uh, fourth phase. And this is the, um, the, the phase we're calling your turn. And this is the new phase that we're just about to embark in now. And this is where we, we present the information that is there, suggest actions that um, individuals take, that we all can collectively take as a community and, um, and encourage that action to happen. We're launching the new website, and I apologize, I'm not watching the, um, the chat, but I will, I will take a look at the chat in just a second. Um, I wanted to just talk about this last piece of this, is that in this new phase, uh, we're going to be la um, uh, launching the, the reimagined website with um, the first five things that someone can do. And you see them here. Uh, today, we're going to go over three of them. Um, but I wanted to mention that we actually have 10 in the making right now. Um, we're going to start with this five and um, see what traction is uh, they, they get and uh, to understand if the next five are the right five or if we should be launching different ones. So um, today, uh, we're going to talk about three of these because we don't have time to talk about all five. Um, but really, what the goal of this presentation is is to get your input on whether these the three that we're, we're going to share today um, do, does this particular action feel meaningful in the broader sense of um, PIDs and metadata and um, the second piece of it is what suggestions corrections or additions uh, would you um, would you suggest so I'm going to take a quick look at the plan is there anything that I missed in this yes UN sustainability to sustainable development goals COVID yes 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 <laughs> 
love the chat. Okay, so um, the first the first item I'm going to talk about is um, a fairly simple one, at least on its surface, which is signing a pledge. And really, the goal here is not to just get a bunch of signatures on a on a website. Really, what the goal is is to uh, reinvigorate the the idea that each person involved in metadata has an action that they can play. And so uh, we're starting with just this pledge of being an advocate for richer, connected, and reusable open metadata. Um, the signing the pledge is no more of a commitment than that. Um, though we're hoping individuals will take additional uh, additional work. And this is actually a screenshot from the from the uh, upcoming site. So um, for each one of these actions, there's the steps that we're, ask, we're asking individuals to consider, and then a set of resources that will help that person um, to take that action. So in the case of the resources, uh, there is a list of uh, oh, you're, I'm, my face is over some of it, but I, I will tell you what it says in the resources section is that there's a list of things that you can do, which is those, those five actions that I mentioned. Um, and then you can learn more about the Metadata 2020 effort. So we still uh, talk about all of the things that happened during Metadata 2020, more in a narrative form of that of the journey that the effort and the fantastic volunteers that participated uh, took, and um, sort of a longer version of what uh, what I talked about for just a few minutes earlier. So now it's time for you to um, to participate. We have this pledge as one of the actions, and uh, I invite you to go to Slido. I'm going to put the link, the direct link to the Slido poll. But um, if you if that link is difficult to grab, you can just go to Slido.com um, and metadata twenty. Uh, the event code is MD2020. Um, and if you're in there, there are two questions about signing the pledge. The first question is just a simple yes or no. Do you feel like this action, um, does this action of signing a pledge feel like a meaningful action to you? This and the specific one. And if you want, if you need a refresher of going back on that page, there should be an image. You can click on it and then you can see the um, the screen that you just saw before, the slide you just saw before. And I invite you to um, to answer those questions and then I'll, I'll share with everybody um, what folks said. I see that there's a, there's only a couple of pleasure, uh, a couple of votes in there. I love this idea. The author identified the uh, relevant SDGs and the keywords. I agree with you. And some actually, some organizations are doing that. I've uh, published some papers recently where uh, the publishers were asking for um, what S SDGs uh, the work was in, uh, is impacting. Okay, I have about eight votes so far. Just give us a minute more. And thank you. Uh, the Anything that you're adding here, or you're welcome to continue the conversation in Slack after this presentation. Um, we are very interested in in your thoughts because this has always been a community effort, and um, and we're really hoping that the the action plans are not the action is not only taken by the community but also adopted by the community. Okay, so I'm going to um, go to the the next slide which will give you the, oh, no, that's not how I do it. So uh, many of you felt like this is a, is a meaningful um, component, perhaps not the most meaningful, um, which is what, I, what I'm reading, to, reading into in the no, um, and I hope the people who put in no are also adding some comments on what you think might make it more meaningful or if you think that it should be removed completely. Um, and let's look at some of those comments. And actually, you should be able to see them on your screen as well and look through them. Um, let me just take a look at them. If I look at them in this format, I can see them a little bit better. Um, easy action to take. Yes, that was the goal is for to make, an e make it an easy action 
um, sort of the, the gateway action that folks can take. A more measurable one, that is a really interesting idea. And Helena, are the, is the chat available also after the presentation? Um, so we will actually be closing this whole block after your presentation. So if there are questions that you want to continue discussing, they need to be moved to the uh, Q&A on Slack. Okay. Uh, but Todd is backstage and he can start doing that. Okay, excellent. Great. Well, I would like to, I so appreciate the, uh, the great comments that you have that you've uh, added here. I, I'm gonna move on to the next question, um, but if there's something that you wanted to uh, add, please do um, include that in the Slack channel or, um, or contact me directly. Okay, so then the next, the next action that I wanted to talk about is uh, spreading the word about metadata. And in this action, this is really uh, about providing the resources to individuals to, um, to actually, act on that pledge, uh, pledge of being an advocate. So in this, um, the what to do is including identifying opportunities to spread the word about metadata, and then there's a resource that gives some information about how you might find a good opportunity um, to adopt the resources that, um, that we provide. So there are things like Twitter, um, Twitter images, there's uh, slides that you can use in presentations, there's talking points about what metadata is and how richer metadata, richer open data, metadata can make a difference. Um, and then <clears throat> the last what to do is encouraging others to help spread the word. So this is basically trying to get others to come in and look at these action plans and commit to taking an action themselves. So with that, I'm gonna move on to the next slide and see what feedback you can give us on that. So the uh, same questions, um, does this action feel meaningful? And what suggestions, additions, or corrections you might have? Just catching up on the chat. A couple of votes coming in. Meanwhile, I'm going to change my heat so that it doesn't keep blowing on my face. Okay, we have about 10 votes in there now. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start displaying 100%. I love that. This is a good thing then. Um, glad to hear that folks feel like this is going to be a meaningful uh, action. Your Slido has it refreshed. Uh, maybe I need to do that. So you might have to click the send button. It, uh, if you haven't uh, sent your comments, and even if you don't have any comments, you can still click uh, you might have to answer one question. If you press send, then you should be able to see the responses. Let me make sure that I'm not lying to you. Excellent. Um, yeah, so the, this action seems to be feeling meaningful to folks. And then here's a bunch of comments. Um, an opportunity to report on the spread. Oh, that's a really great idea to be able to have um, those that are spreading the word to report back. Um, we have been thinking a lot about sort of the sustainability of this effort and what we end up, um, how we, uh, how involved a central metadata 2020 effort is versus um, completely giving it over to the community. Um, and we're leaning toward the latter of those. Uh, so when we're thinking about how we report back, um, it will be a question of how of a mechanism to do that in a way that feels very community driven. 
Um, so, so we've been talking about as we have this this website up um, up and running that we make it possible for others to add things. Um, so there's like resources listed on the on Metadata 2020 site. Um, what we're hoping to do is put this into a GitLab and and make it so that others can do pull requests again against it or add issues if there's something missing, or there are corrections that need to happen so that this can be a living a living site that is really maintained and nurtured by the community. Um, a list of actions for each group and benefits is a great idea. <clears throat> Maybe missing the why, that's great. Okay, we have a few more minutes and I just will have one more uh, action that I wanted to share with you. And that's joining a working group. Um, this isn't going to be for everyone, of course, uh, but for those that are interested in being more active in the metadata community, but might not yet be involved or may be involved in, a, in one area of metadata, um, but are interested in connection between metadata and PIDs or metadata for a specific community or for a specific, specific type of resource, um, the, the what to do at hearing includes considering where uh, which impact areas that the uh, that the person who's considering this wants to contribute to, um, finding a working group and participating in it actively, um, and then just getting involved in any way that they can. And the resources provided here, which you don't see on the screen, um, include. Um, a list of specific working groups that are more general, and then um, some guidance on how to find groups that are working with metadata. And um, I'm going to open the poll on this one so that um, folks can uh, start uh, looking at uh, contributing some thoughts about whether this action feels meaningful and what suge suggestions, corrections, or um, additions you might. Uh, have for this area. Again, the um, the slide should be available uh, at the top of your of the little poll that you see there. Um, so, joining a working group, uh, the the site is going to launch with a a, li a short list of working groups that uh, that are known to us that are uh, currently open and doing work in metadata um, and. Uh, as I mentioned, there's the the site's going to very quickly evolve over the very near, near term while we're um, early in the early stages of the relaunch. Um, but as it moves into the community's hands, there will be opportunities for uh, individuals to to make a pull request and add their own uh, metadata uh, metadata working groups, um, or perhaps indicate that a meta uh, one of the working groups has completed their work, and so it's no longer an active one. So I'm going to start showing the results so that you can see them. This is another one that sounds like it's a meaning, uh, that folks feel like this is a meaningful action. Let's look at some of the comments. How to involve decision makers, lobby them or involve them directly. Yeah, this, this is a really great, important point. Um, uh, this, how do you do that in a way that uh, doesn't take a ton of resources? How do we get the word out to uh, those decision makers so that they can be involved and so that the community can help with um, increasing their awareness and their desire to, to um, work with it? What does it mean to be involved with it? be involved in a working group? That is a really good question. I, that is probably something we should include in the resources. Just don't create working groups. I completely agree with you. There are a ton already there. And perhaps um, by having a place where um, they can be listed or um, to gain more exposure to those groups that are out there, perhaps we can, um, folks can find a, a, a metadata group that Rather, a working group rather than kind of creating a new one. A version of credit for the different roles people might take on. That's a great idea. Hard to join from the outside. It's often the same people who are already aligned. This is very much the case. Um, 
ability to summit a working group to post on the page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Signing a pledge number one should just mean committing to number two or three in whatever points you have. That's, that's a great idea. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're really hoping uh, the action plans for signing the pledge, the, the, the resources, the actions you can take is sign the pledge and then commit to doing some, something. Um, and, and then here's the resources of things that you can do, which are these action plans. Maybe create task and finish groups with a timeline and outcome. That's that's also a great idea. All right. Um, so Helena, we're we need to be done at the bottom of the hour, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, then perfect timing. Um, thank you so much for your feedback. Um, uh, this is definitely the right group to have brought this these questions to. Um, I hope you will continue. Um, to provide that feedback and, and join in the conversation as we launch the new website. We'll be um, tweeting about it and um, talking about it on social media. And we also have a really active Slack channel. So um, thank you again. And uh, I look forward to the future conversations. Great. Thanks a lot, Laura. Um, so this is actually the end of block 15. Uh, so thanks to all who joined this blog today. I think we had some really good presentations and some very good discussions. So thank you so much for contributing to that. Uh, as I said, the discussion will continue in Slack. So feel free to go there and uh, continue talking about metadata uh, and PIDs there. Um, I will end this blog. So um, please all find a session in block 16 and um, See you all there. Thank you very much.